Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. As you may remember, early this year I reviewed the Martin Kleermacher Darts, but they came from Bulls Darts Germany. So recently he signed with Bulls Darts Netherlands and they've come out with a new set. So these are the Bulls Netherlands Martin Kleermacher Edition 1 Darts. So let's check them out. So I'm reviewing the 25 gram version, the 90% tungsten, you can also get them in 23 and 24 gram in steel tip and 16.5 gram in soft tip and the retail for £84.95. So the darts come in this cardboard packaging and you've got some info on the back detailing the darts. Inside you've got a hard plastic case holding the darts in place and they come with a point holder and you've got a set of the medium nylon black bull stems and a set of standard shape Martin Kleermacher flights. So the darts fit with a black coat point and it's kind of like a straight barrel dart with tapered front and a little bit of a taper on the rear but it's a very sleek looking dart and it's got a very deep black coating on but I'm not 100% sure if it's a titanium coating on it looks kind of glossy but uh, I couldn't find the info to say if it was titanium coating could be but it might be also something else because so many new coatings out these days um, that front section not particularly grippy but You've got these kind of milled M shapes there, so we get a little bit of grip on them, and they've got a very nice orangey, bronzy colour coating in. Certainly a nice contrast with the black, but on this part is where it gets interesting. You've got these two scallops and this kind of thin ring grip with uh, lateral cuts through it, and again with that orangey coloured coating on and then a micro grip on the very end we'll have a super close look at the grip just now but a very nice looking dart and the fit with the medium nylon stems and the clear maca standard shape flights so you've got a tapered front section which is a kind of a flat ring and groove grip and then you've got that section with the milled m's uh, quite deep milling, milling on that and that orangey colour as you can see and then as you move along you've got a scallop and then you've got the section of thin ring grip with some lateral cuts through it and then you've got another scallop section and then on the very end you've got a tapered section with a, a micro grip on it so there you go that's the super close look at the Martin Kleermacher Tarts that's fit with a black coated 30mm point there's a small smooth section at the front that's tapered that's 3.8mm and then the taper continues with this flat and shallow ring grip that's 9.2mm and then you've got a parallel section with these milled M's that's 11mm you've got a scallop and a groove and a bit of a ring that's 6.5mm then a thin ring grip with lateral cuts with that orangey bronze coating on that's 8mm another scallop section that's six millimeters tapered section on the end with a micro grip that's eight millimeters length 52.5 millimeters widest 6.75 millimeters twenty five point one three grams twenty five point one three grams again And 25.15 grams, a full set up, 27.1 grams. Here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied set up. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights.
it's mostly a low to medium level grip 5.5 is probably the most well last two went through the air quite nice first one went a bit skew whiff um, my hands are a little bit on the cold side of this, so I am a little bit surprised. I thought that cotton would be feeling quite slippy. Um, there's not a huge amount of grip at that front section. I'm trying to get some of the grip from those uh, M shapes. Personally, for me as a front gripper, I would, I would definitely prefer a bit more grip there. But I did think that cotton was going to be very slippy feeling. Especially when my fingers are cold. It's not sticky or anything, it's just not as slippy as I was expecting it to be. But flies quite nice through the air, fairly flattish. So if you're a front gripper and you don't need a lot of grip, you should be fine with it. Um, it's a nice looking dart like and maybe just a touch on the long side as well for me. Oh got a trouble with the last dart. I'm holding it on that first scallop. Now I'd say that's pretty close to the middle but I think for most people you're probably going to want to be gripping it somewhere around there anyway on the orange uh, cross cut section or one of the scallops but i'm mostly on that fair scallop here some of them are going fairly straight I mean, you don't sit into the scallop really. It's just like having a, a kind of a big wide groove because it's not one of them scallops where your fingers sit into it. But depending on where you hold the dart, you might get it with the edge of your thumb or the, the tip of your finger. Just depends on how you hold it. Is that another treble? I think it is. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> I tell you, my eyes have got worse. I, I didn't get that long ago when I got them tested. I'm pretty sure they've got blarier since then. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> but like I say, it'll work fine anywhere along, along that section. So you get a bit more grip there and nice balance. I can't believe they've all gone in the 20. Um, I'm holding it mostly on that second scallop, but I think some of my grip is also on those orange cross cut sections. So maybe a bit of half and half there. Some of them are not flying too bad through the air, so for you natural rear grippers, I think it'll be fine. A little bit more grippy as well, so that's better feeling. A bit high on that one. That, that one actually flew quite smooth. So, like I said, I think anywhere around that section, wherever you're gripping there it's a nice spot to be holding the dart and those scallop sections they kind of act like a nice reference point but I think maybe people who are going to be gripping fully into that is probably going to get the best of it
So there you go, that's the Bulls Netherlands Martin Kleermacher Edition 1 darts. Uh, like I said, it's a very uh, nice looking sleek dart. It'll probably work for front grippers, mid grippers and rear grippers, but front grippers, not as much grip on the dart. So I think uh, mid and rear grippers probably get the best of it. Uh, a little bit on the long side for me and personally not quite enough grip at the front but I think I might have said the same thing with the other clear macker darts that I reviewed before and when I played with them a little bit longer I started to get the hang of them and they started to fly really nice and I managed to get two 180s with them sometime after I did the review so maybe they were better than I thought so these ones might be the same but a little bit on the pricey side but I Notice that with a lot of darts now, the prices just seem to be getting a bit crazy. But there you go, I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a closer look at them. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. And I'll see you in the next one. Happy darting.